Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. bought some things from Kara Kanani. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> it's the Kiko earrings! Oh my god! <gasps> so pretty! Everything is just perfect. <gasps> Every time I press buttons, I can't get over the fact that they look like these cute, shiny little candies. Look at that glossy shine. I've been kind of slacking off more and more as the day went by. I think it's, it's 9.30 now. I'm still in the middle of packing and prepping for packages. Like I ran out of buttons, so I'm just mass pushing buttons right now. And it's always better to just, you know, do things in advance and do things in a batch so you don't have to go back and forth for things. But I'm getting so sleepy and I want to get to some other things in the day. But look how many more packages I have to package. My time management is like way off this week and I don't really know how to balance things. So I think I'm just gonna push through and just do as much as I can because it always works out in the end somehow and that way I can actually rest during this week because it's Thanksgiving week and I am looking forward to those two days of just lounging around in bed and also maybe cooking a lot. I think I'm gonna make a lot of food. Maybe a really good Thanksgiving pie or maybe two types of pie. I really love pie. I love saucy things, pickles, and pies because pies are like saucy cakes you know <laughs> i think my sense of taste is very weird and that's why i continually eat pickles the pickle jar i showed in like three videos back or so like two to three weeks ago it's gone i ate it all no one else in my family eats pickles i'm the only one i eat like two a day they're just really good
So I think when packaging some of the orders from the Slash Shop update, I'm actually going to be using this, which is like a lot of plastic bags and bubble wrap that I've saved from mail that I've gotten because I think this is kind of a good way to upcycle and reuse. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. I have so many bags and they're not bad bags. So if you get them in my mail, you can reuse them for yourself too. I totally didn't see you there. While I'm in the middle of packing these orders, I wanted to quickly jump in and thank this video's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website, whether it be for an online shop or an art portfolio. Personally, for me, I've had my own website for my portfolio since I was in college, and I've kept it ever since, and it's been really helpful to organize my artwork and show it to recruiters for jobs. It is honestly really easy to use, and there's a lot of features that let you personalize your website to fit your own needs, and there's no need for coding or anything. All the design tools are there and ready for you. If you're interested in making your own website, you can head on over to Squarespace for your free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Thanks you for 10% off. Thank you again to Squarespace. And now back to me packaging even more orders. Ah! Uh oh. What happened here? I got all of my stuff packed for today and I'm using these bags because they're super cute. This one's from Alina Shop Chuby and this one's from my friend Britt. She goes by Gotcha Illustration. This one's really cool. And hopefully I could send these all off. I'm gonna try and do another round of shipments today because I totally forgot that tomorrow's Thanksgiving and that the post office is probably not gonna be open. So I should really make more time to pack everything now and ship them off so that you guys could get them on time. And off we go. morning it is gobble gobble turkey day <laughs> i am all dressed up for the festivities and it's looking more harry potter than i expected with the beret on it's even more preppy anyways i saw that there's that trend where you have a collared shirt under a sweater and it's really cute and it goes really well with all of this outfit somehow this look turned out to be way more harry potter like 
Or maybe we just associate preppy clothes with Harry Potter and that's how it is. Hmm. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. I'm a fake fan. I don't know what I'm talking about. My one friend who's very into Harry Potter would be very disappointed in me. Well, besides all that, I just wanted to focus on more of the thankful parts of Thanksgiving and it's that I am thankful for you guys. Honestly, like I did not know how 2020 was gonna be like for me as a new graduate straight out of art school. So everything has been like a crazy wild ride with everything that I'm doing now with YouTube and Patreon and the shop and my job. So honestly, like I'm so thankful and appreciative of all of you guys joining me for whatever I do and whatever I put out because honestly like I'm just so lost myself about myself and I doubt like if I'm interesting enough or if I do is cool enough and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna stop spiraling into negative thoughts but like I am still really truly appreciative of all your love and support so I just wanted to say that and I hope you have a great day. For my own Thanksgiving, I'm thinking about making a pie, actually maybe two pies, and then some mashed potatoes, roasted veggies. Oh, and then I also bought this um, Impossible Beyond Meat, Beyond Beef? I think that's what it's called. It's like the substitute meat brand and I'm gonna make them into meatballs, so I hope it comes out well. Also, since today is my off day, I can finally get to my Patreon stuff and I've been missing working on these wood slices, so I'm gonna finish up these guys and I think I'm gonna try Posca this time around because as much as I loved working with the acrylic wash, I think I want to get all those vibrant colors from the Poscas. And also, I feel like it is easier to use Poscas. Gotta spice things up a bit. And then also with the Patreon stuff, I actually got sent something from Mossery, which is like a very well-known sketchbook brand, and they were kind enough to send me this sketchbook, and it has my name embossed in it. Well, not my name, but my my alias, Thank you. And I personally picked this cover because I love how this looks. It's like very inspiring in a way, like something about it just like makes me want to sketch more and also it's because the cover art is by an artist that i really love which is maggie chang mc minty on instagram and it's so beautiful so far i am taking a break from shipping and packing but this is what i have so far this is going to be my second batch and right now my workstation is kind of whack but it's okay it is what it is So what I figured out now is that these wood blocks soak up a lot of paint from the Poscas. Even though it looks okay right now, I think my plan for the other blocks is I'm gonna paint and prime everything with white paint first as silhouette shapes and then go over it with the markers again. But I like this composition. I'm going with something more quirky and magical, I guess. I don't know. I cannot chase you, I can't
cannot fly I cannot make you You make up your mind You want me to prove it to you To see what I lose If I cannot find you Up in the dust If I stand here waiting Would you think I might come Stay in the place Losing my ways All over the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 mm. Oh. 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 Very black tea. Very. I think it's a lot of caffeine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lining. <laughs> Just working on a little post that I think I fancy really well. This is the color comp of this one thing that I want to do because I reached 40k on Instagram so I wanted to do another draw this in your style and I thought this would be really nice because I'm returning back to Animal Crossing content and this is kind of just like an appreciation post of why I love fall so much and specifically why I love Animal Crossing fall so much. I took a screenshot in game of my town that's me and all of those colors and then sampled some of that to create my own little drawing there's Eric over there I love him and this is what my town looks like for those who are wondering even though this is really pixelated a lot of it is still under development and honestly I really don't know how to finish my town so it's just gonna continue like this as a flower hell because there are too many flowers everywhere but I love it so yeah this is gonna be really exciting because I'm really excited to see what you guys do and all the entries because I was so happy about the last ones I'm just gonna leave this as a color comp for now because I love to just randomly drop things and then start another thing because that's how my workflow is. I never really start and finish things in a sit down session and it frustrates me sometimes. Like I wish I could work better, but that's just kind of how I get things done. And I mean, I get things done in the end. So I guess it doesn't matter as much. But I think the main reason why I've been jumping around a lot these days is because I want to like get everything done while the sun is up because everything gets a little bit more depressing when there's no light. So yeah, remember to get your daily source of vitamin D and try to get as much sun as you can. Seasonal depression is honestly really sad. And as much as it is cozy in the winter days, it's still kind of lonely. So I hope you just know that things are going to be okay and you're not alone in things.
so I actually finished up my Draw This In Your Style yesterday and I posted it. This is what I ended up with and I'm actually really happy about it. I thought it would be a little bit too much so I took out Grizzly, but the overall composition and the colors worked out really well and it seems like it was received really well by you guys too. And the crazy thing is I check this morning and there's already like a few entries. You guys are so fast. <laughs> Look how cute everything is. Ah! I love everyone's little interpretations. This one's winter. Well, yeah, right now I'm just going through all the posts and admiring them all while I get ready and start up the day in bed. I think I'm gonna continue doing a little bit of work in bed because today is still Sunday and I want it to be comfy. I still have a lot of work to do today even though it's technically the weekend. There's just been like a lot of anxiety. I'm figuring out that like I can't really balance all of these things that I'm doing at the same time but I really want it to work so this is me struggling to figure out how to make this work. Maybe it's just because I want to play more Animal Crossing right now. That's okay. Sometimes you just gotta hype yourself up and then just focus on the hype to get you through the work and be productive, but not like in a toxic positivity way. I don't know. I'll figure it out. like this where it's actually really comfy to just focus on work and then play a podcast or something in the background so I think that's how my Sunday will go so I've been sketching and doodling in this boy for a little bit and I'm really liking the quality of the paper I think I'm just a little frustrated at my own ideas right now because I've been trying to do a lot of experimenting with the color pencil these are my doodles and I was having a lot of fun with the rainbow sketches but it didn't really translate well to a full finished piece so I think I'm gonna just leave that out for now but I did end up just using Posca's and it turned out pretty cute. It's definitely a color palette that I'm not used to, but I think I'm finding my stride now, finally. This one's really cute where all the colors is like an analogous color palette and it works pretty well. So I'm going to set up a little photo shoot because I really like this spread the most so I can share it with you guys on Instagram. Also, it's just really fun and kind of therapeutic to make pretty photos because you really want to document all of your work and then it just makes everything look more aesthetic on Instagram. I'm also going to take a photo shoot of these guys because I need to send these out like right now. I'm going to miss them but they're going to go to such lovely homes and I really hope my patrons like them. really like how they turned out. Oh, the funny thing is, I got my name embossed as my handle, thanks you, because I don't really like how Vicky looks. I think my name is kind of ugly. So thanks you looks cuter. I 
Finally know the reason why, yeah I'm never really satisfied, yeah Looking up a paradise, yeah Without you by my side yeah. Imagine I would do your dog play Imagine skipping all the foreplay Imagine all the stars in one place Cause you're Oh, winter. Why won't you let any more light? Please. You know, honestly, on camera, it looks like I get a lot of light. But honestly, it's kind of dingy in here after the sun starts setting. And it definitely brings down my mood a little bit. But that's okay. I'm like pretty much wrapping up all my work today. And I'm just gonna focus on my freelance for the rest of the today and I'm actually gonna be ending video here even though it's literally the start of a new week but I have a lot of big things I have to focus on in the coming week so I'll just leave it at that well it's time to keep working <laughs> I'll see you guys next time bye bye if you wanna please like and subscribe Bye bye. Cross my heart and